Today, I want to do something a little bit different. I want to show how to set up a controller together with Steam, wirelessly, by the way, without any third-party software, in order to get it working together with Jedi Survivor, which, as we all know, at least if you have Jedi Survivor, uh, for some reason, controllers no longer work inside Jedi Survivor. And that has to do with the fact that EA updated their desktop application. So now, for some reason, Steam doesn't communicate that well together with EA. Um, so there is a solution for it. And I scoured the internet to find it and thought I'd share it because I actually got it working. So now I can play wirelessly. Um, I could play with a wire, by the way, until I found this solution here. So it wasn't like I couldn't play as long as I had it plugged in to my computer. Uh, but it is just kind of nicer to have it wirelessly, right? Um, so a couple of things to make sure you do. Uh, first of all, you need to make sure you actually have the controller plugged in via Bluetooth. Uh, so as you can see, I have my controller paired. You simply do that by going inside your Windows settings, go to Bluetooth settings, make sure you add your controller by say add Bluetooth or other device, hold in the share button and then click the PlayStation button. Once you do that, it should find the controller and you can pair it. Once you've done that, make sure you go into Steam, right click on Jedi Survivor, go down to where it says properties and make sure that you have the controllers tab down here set to enable Steam support or enable Steam input. If it says disabled, it's not gonna work, okay? That's not the solution, by the way. The solution is that you want to go inside your library and add EA Desktop as a non-Steam game. That fixes it. So for some reason, all of a sudden, Steam communicates together with EA Desktop and Steam Overlay works and controller support is active. So what do you want to make sure you do here? Go down to add a game, add a non-Steam game, go in and you do not want to pick the one called App Recovery because there is a EA application in here and it does actually say EA Launcher. If you look at the name over here or the, the path, uh, what you want to be doing is you want to browse, go inside where you have EA installed. So in my case here, it is the C drive, program files, electronic arts, EA desktop, EA desktop. And in here, you do not want to pick the one called EA Launcher. You want to pick the one called EA Desktop. Okay, so you're gonna double click it. Make sure you have this open. So you can actually see that now inside add non-Steam game, I do have EA Desktop selected. You want to add select the program. Now I do have it added over here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and cancel, but you want to add select the program. Go in, make sure you first launch EA Desktop. Make sure it's not open already, by the way. So if you go down to, you know, all the different software you had down here, make sure you actually close it down if it's open, um, but then open it up from inside Steam. So play. Once you do that, it's gonna say running over here on the side. Make sure it keeps saying running because if it stops saying running, then you added the wrong thing when you added a non-Steam game. Make sure it says running, okay? So you can see I have the application open here. It's still running. Then you want to launch the game from inside the application, not inside Steam. And when you do that, both need to say running at the same time. Okay, so let's just go ahead and launch up the game here. You can see it still, still says running inside EA Desktop. And it also says running when it comes to the game. So I'm just gonna launch it up here so everything is working. I'm just gonna wait. Okay, so it's launching up. I have my controller. And as you can see, if I actually make sure that it is connected, I had to reconnect to Bluetooth because it was off for so long. Uh, but now it is working. <laughs> it just took a few seconds. Uh, so I am clicking the controller and it is actually active. And again, the reason for this is because Steam is running the EA application using the EA desktop. And it's also running the game inside Steam. So again, launch the game from inside the EA desktop, but make sure you have the EA desktop launched from Steam, okay? And that will get it working wirelessly, which is quite amazing because I there's like literally a hundred solutions out there. People give you all sorts of ideas about how to fix this, and this was the only one that worked. So I hope this helped a lot of people. Um, enjoy your playthrough of the game because I'm quite enjoying it, and I'll see you guys later.